Nebula 3 is an add-on to 3.js which provides a particle system. Particles are used to render effects like fire, smoke and fireworks. They are basically points which render a sprite and have some particle behaviors. 3.js offers a way to create particles via points. You can do basic particle effects, however you must implement the particle behavior by yourself, such as emitting rate and drifting. Check out Nebula 3 and you will see that it is a pretty rich particle system, with lots of particle customization and can even render particles as meshes. And on top of that it provides a particle system designer app, so you can create complex particle systems without writing any code. So I have decided to try it out and create an example 3.js scene, where I display a magic rod and apply some magical particle effects. I will use some magic rod 3D objects from this website here. It has lots of free low poly assets. First I need to set up a project. The quickest way for me was to open the quick start sandbox from the Nebula 3 documentation page. From the Code Sandbox app, I can export the project and open it with my IDE. Before I start, I quickly check out the npm dependencies in the package.json. You see, it uses the parcel bundler to build and package the web app. And while I am here, I should update the 3.js and Nebula dependency versions. So with regular npm install and npm start I can open the example web app. The structure of the project is also pretty simple. In the root index javascript file we see that it initializes a particle system from a json file. The particle system json file contains the complete particle system definition with emitters, particle behaviors as well as sprite textures. After the json file has been loaded, a 3.js app is created with a scene, renderer and camera. The code for the creation of the 3.js app is contained in the index javascript file in the 3.app subfolder. Then a Nebula sprite renderer is created, registered at the Nebula engine and the animation loop method is called. And at last in the animation loop the Nebula system is updated and the 3GS scene is rendered. And this happens every frame. And now I want to create a particle system without writing any code, so I download the Nebula 3 desktop app. So when opening the app we can create a particle system. On the left side we can press this icon to add a particle emitter. And then we get an example particle emitter. With the tabs on the right side we can change the properties of the emitter and the particles. In the emitter tab we can change the emitter properties such as limit the lifetime of the emitter and change the rate of the particle emission, as well as position and rotation of the particle system. In the particles initializers tab we can change the properties of the particles, for example choosing from a list of predefined sprites. You can also set the lifetime of the particle as well as size and other things. In the Particle Behaviors tab, here we can set the particle behaviors. A behavior defines how a particle changes its color, size and so on over time. Also the sections for Spring, Force, Random Drifts and Rotation define how a particle changes its position and rotation over time. There are several easing functions available for those properties. The tab for Emitter Behavior here currently has only a Rotation Behavior. And also in the last tab there are some editor settings, for example the camera and the grid. I would like to have some magical particles. So for this emitter I adjust the rate.
Also, I might change the sprite texture and a bit of the particle lifetime and radius settings. I would also like to change the color and the drifting of the particles. And then I add a second emitter to add some more magical character to the particle system. You may notice that there is a spring behavior active, so the particles are getting pulled to a certain position. Currently I don't see any way to disable this behavior in this app, but I can remove it in another way. I can save the designed particle system to a JSON file, which I am gonna load later in my web app. I can manually edit the particle system in the JSON file. If you open it in an editor, you see some other editor metadata as well as the definition of the particle system itself. So I search for the spring section and completely delete it from the JSON file. Now I can reopen this edited file in the Nebula Editor app and verify that the spring behavior is gone. So now we have designed a particle system without writing any code and that's great. I quickly go into the root index JavaScript file and change the path to the recently created JSON file. Also, I do not provide the full JSON file to the Nebula loader, as it contains the Nebula editor metadata. I only pass the particle system state property of the JSON file. When running the web app, I see that my magical particle system is now active. It is time to create a nice 3.js scene. I must download my assets for the MagicRod 3D object. I must make sure that these asset files are also deployed to the web app server. I must tell the parcel bundler to also bundle these files. For that I must install the npm package parcel plugin static files copy. This plugin is meant to copy static files such as images or my object files to the parcel bundle. After installing the package, I just create a folder with the name static and the root of my project. I paste all my 3D assets into this folder. After that, all the files within this folder should be copied by the plugin to the distribution folder of the web app. After I do npm start, I can verify that my files are copied into the dist folder. So having that in place, my 3D objects can be loaded via the 3.js object loaders. In the index JavaScript file of the 3.app folder, I can create my 3.js scene. First, I import all the needed classes which I'm gonna use. So ambient light, directional light, color, orbit controls and obj and mtl loader.
Then of course I start customizing my scene, like changing the background color and adding orbit controls. Also I add some light sources, a directional light and ambient light to brighten the scene. Of course I must load the magical raw 3D object. I use the MTL loader to load the material and with that I use the OBJ loader to load the object with the given material. I also configure a bit the scale and also set the shadow casting and receiving to true. So after all that, my scene should look like this. The magic rod is there and the particles as well. Of course we need to fix the particle position. We can do that programmatically. When we have the loaded particle system, we can iterate all emitters and change the position on the y-axis. We may need to tweak around with the particle sizes and positions and the 3D object scales and positions a few times. But now it looks cool. I would say the Nebula 3 particle engine is very cool and it facilitates creating pretty 3GS scenes. This concludes the video for the Nebula particle engine. Try it out yourself and goodbye.